Hi, I'm Paul from Guru Parents and this is part two of our introduction to the abacus for parents. In part one, I introduced the Soraba, the Japanese abacus, and gave you a basic idea of its functions. Today, let's move on to some addition. Firstly, a quick recap. These yellow beads here are the earthly beads and they're worth one. And these green beads are the heavenly beads and they're worth five. And the way that we're going to use it, this column's the ones, these are the tens, the hundreds and the thousands. So for example, here's a number. 2,000, 356. Okay, let's start adding. Now, some numbers are very simple to add. Take one and let's add three to it. Extremely easy. We simply push these three beads up and there's the answer, four. What about if we wanted to add five to our four. Again, very simple. This bead goes down and there we have it. The answer is nine. What about adding a further five? Now we run into a little bit of a difficulty. There's no immediately obvious way of doing it. One way would be to just count a further five. We've got nine, so if we add one to it, we now have ten. Add our second one, add third, add our fourth, at our fifth, we now have 14. 9 plus 5 equals 14. Now, although that gave me the correct answer, it's obviously going to take forever if I had a longer sum to do. So, let's introduce our first trick. And here it is. Another way of saying to add 5 is to say, let's add 10 and then subtract 5. Let's have a look how it works. So, to add 5 to 9, firstly I say I'll add 10, which means adding 1 to the 10s column, and I'll subtract 5, moving this one up, and there we have it. The exact same answer as before, 14. Do that again one more time. So we've got 9. Instead of adding 10 first, I'll subtract the 5 first, and then add my 10, which is moving one up in this column. And there's the answer, 14. The reason for the slight difference is that that's the more efficient finger movement. So if you're going to do lots of large sums, it would be better to do it that way. Now for most adults, the fact that five can also be expressed as minus five plus 10 is pretty straightforward. But for young children, it's something that they need to learn. And so the more that they practice and have fun with the Soroban, the more they will be familiar with that relationship and also the other relationships that I'll show you in future videos. Now for some practice. I'll set up a number on the Soroban and then add a lot of fives to it. So here's the number. 2,537. To this number, I'm going to add 5,555. Sounds like quite an ambitious target, but in actual fact, all I need to do is add five to each column. And we work from left to right. So to begin with, nice and easy, adding five, down that goes. To this next column, I can't add five directly, so I'll subtract five and add my one to the next column. Now into the next column here, adding five once again, very simple, and then into the last column, Subtract 5 and add 1 to the next row, to the next column. So we're left with 8 here, nothing on this one, 9 on this one, 2 in this, that is 8,092. So there you have it. That's how you add by 5. And now that you've learnt that first trick, the rest should be pretty simple. Stay tuned for the next video when I show you some more.